Hello there ladies and a happy onesie Wednesday. So I'm here with a little David and he's looking so cute. Look how cute he is with his handsome hunk like daddy. <laughs> onesie. And um, I'm gonna get him change. Um, I have a new onesie for him to wear. And he's also gonna get a diaper change and a, a bottle because he's a hungry baby. So let's see. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Mine is, um, it started pretty good. Like I said, the weekend was amazing. But um, today is not that. It wasn't, I don't know, at least the day didn't start it very well. Um, we, um, I don't know if you remember one of, one, um, some other, older video, I told you that um, the house up north has sold. Well, what I, what I, when I said it sold, what I meant is, you know, we got, we actually get, got a few offers at the same time. Um, and well, so you know, somebody made highest offer and we accepted it. Um, so you know, that's what I meant by sold it. But then um, the real estate agent, which is not my real estate agent, it's some other one. Um, you know, when you have a house for sale and you know, you have your real estate agent, but the house gets posted somewhere, I don't remember the name now. It's like a website and any real estate agent can really try to sell it. I can't remember the name now. Um, if I remember, I will put it on the, like a caption or something. <laughs> so, um, so well, this woman, which is not on my favorite list, I mean, not mine. I'm not talking about my real tour, okay? I'm talking about this other one. The one that brought the people that wanted to buy the house. She started looking for like... I don't know, like things that she wanted uh, to get fixed, you know, before we do the closing and and it's been, I don't know guys, pretty much a mess. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get the um, powder. <laughs> so yeah, she started looking for, I don't know, excuses or things that needed to be fixed, whatever. And the thing is, you know, it's a very old house. It's, uh, gosh, over 30 years old. So, of course, you know, you cannot expect to have everything new. And if we fix all the stuff that she wants us to fix, we're not going to get any, we're not going to have any money left over. Because the money that we, you know, we are selling the house for is to pay off the mortgage on this house, the new house. So, let's just say it's not exactly what we're we were, we were expecting I mean you know we've got a not not the offer we wanted at first we had to lower the price a couple of times but you know we were gonna have some leftover money but now this woman is like at first it was with the um, with a funding company like when we had to get the mortgage for this house it was a nightmare I mean if you had to apply for like a mortgage or kind of thing uh, you guys know what I'm talking about you know, I was going to put the Wonder Waffle, but I forgot. It's okay. Um, okay, let me show you the onesie he's going to be wearing. Super cute. With um, gators and like lions. <laughs> I thought it was super cute. Very Florida-like. So anyways. Um, so yeah, these, like I said, the, applying for the mortgage was a nightmare. A living nightmare. And now... <clears throat> trying to you know get things sorted out so we can finally do the closing it's getting to be another nightmare um and i mean it's not really that the people that wanted to buy the house they complain about these things this real um yeah this real estate agent is i don't know what she's trying to do really i really don't know because Oh gosh, it's almost like he's against us or something. So, yeah. So, we got a call from her this morning. Yeah, uh, that wasn't a good good start of the day. You know, I mean, our realtor is 
trying to do everything she can, you know, but in the other hand, if we don't accept to fix, you know, those things, then what if we don't sell the house in a long time? You know, every month that the house doesn't sell is an expense. You know what I mean? So he's going to be wearing these socks. Look how cute. Matching socks. So, so I don't know. So I guess we agreed to fix the things up to a certain point. And I mean, if, uh, if she's not happy with that, I don't know what to tell you guys. But, um, look how cute he looks. That would be, um, a bummer. Like, if the house doesn't sell now, that would be a huge bummer because we were so relieved, you know, thinking, oh, the house sold, you know, that's great, we can pay off this mortgage. And, and of course, I forgot the view, guys. <laughs> and now, um, oh, look how cute. It's like he can grab the bottle. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's like, I can do it by myself, Mom. So, yeah. And then another thing that kind of, uh, I mean, I was doing um, better about the miscarriage thing, but now on Facebook, um, my Argentinian friends and Facebook contacts, they are doing some kind of thing. It's called like, um, I love being a mother challenge or something. So they got to post like three pictures, you know, with the kids or, or of, of their kids and say, you know, all oh, these are the three pictures that, you know, represent why I'm so happy to be a mom. Uh, and it's like, oh, everywhere, I, I don't even, I, I shouldn't be on Facebook, like, for a while now. Because every time I go in, I have all these pictures of babies and my friends with their babies. And I'm like, really? Now? <laughs> you know, exactly one month before my potential, my supposed due date? Why? You know what I mean? Uh, so anyways, but that's life. That's life. Um, at least I have these cutie pies. Um, oh, I have an update on my Kokomalu. That's that's a good thing. Um, so the artist finally got the kid. Uh, I don't know what happened with the kid. Like they shipped it super late. I mean, it was supposed to ship right away, and it didn't. It took like a week longer than expected. So she finally got it and she was going to start painting him. Um, she already asked me what color, what eye color I want and what hair color and oh my gosh guys, I'm so excited. I, I can't wait. Um, and it's going to be a boy. It's going to be a boy and I love that kid. That, that has been one of my favorite kids since I got into this hobby. So like I would like to get another baby after that one but i'm not sure if it's gonna be like a twin girl you know for him or or if i'm gonna get some other kid i don't know um it's crazy because I, I haven't gotten one that i'm expecting and i'm thinking already about <laughs> the next one it's just crazy so um yeah and it's the same artist that made the um uh, bir biracial asian girl so yeah, I'm very, very excited. Oh, and she told me that she was going to start painting him. I was like, oh my gosh. So I tried to show you some work in progress pictures when I have them. Okay, and yeah, so we'll see. Let's help him burp. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's looking so cute. I don't know, should I put him on, passing on him? Yeah. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> I love his lips so much that I don't know I feel kind of bad putting a pass on him but look how how cute he looks <laughs> I love this little man he is so cute and so realistic I mean it's just I don't know he melts in your arms and just everything about him is is perfect he looks real Look at that. Look at that painted hair. So, alright guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. And sorry if this video was a little bit kind of on the sad side, negative side. 
but I don't know I just wanted to give you my updates good ones and bad ones too so um, yeah so thank you so much for watching aunties and we'll be back very soon okay so baby David says bye bye aunties see you soon oh I'm gonna try to make the uh, theme Thursday video tomorrow okay so stay tuned for that have a great day ladies bye